Good morning, Jill Weinbanks. Good morning, Stephanie. I understand you were in fuego on Brian Williams last night. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I was up late. <laughs> I was up late, but it was a good show. And then I woke up this morning to watching Turkey and Syria attack our, I would say, our former allies. Yeah. We used to be allies, but we've let them, we've thrown them under the bus. Gee, I'm going to have to wear my bus pin a lot. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to need more of them. Know, Pence, Perry, and now our Kurds. I, uh, Jill, you must, as a former Watergate prosecutor, this must just blow you away. I, as I was reading on Twitter, uh, developing, Trump Justice Department's asked the U.S. judge to reject House Judiciary Committee request for Mueller grand jury materials, argues courts in 1974 wrongly gave Congress the Watergate jury grand jury roadmap that led to President Nixon's impeachment. Uh, Scott tweeted, the DOJ has been diminished to arguing that Nixon's impeachment inquiry was illegal in order to protect Trump. I mean, I, it's astounding, but look at the judge. The judge in that case went, wow, you're taking an extreme position. Yeah. I, I, judges don't often say wow, do they? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was, I, didn't I said that. judges don't often say wow, do they? <laughs> they? They don't, but that was a wow moment. I don't know, I mean. Judge Howell is a human being who responded, as anybody would, to hearing the Supreme Court was wrong and you should change the Supreme Court. Judge Sirica was wrong and you shouldn't do the same thing. Yeah. Just don't let him have it. Uh, let's keep everything secret. The president can't be investigated, he can't be indicted, and he can't be impeached. Yeah. I, it, uh, astounding. Well, so let's focus on this before we get to the ridiculous White House letter. So. The head of the DOJ Civil Division said Democrats should be denied access to the Mueller grand jury materials, saying because they haven't actually done anything to formally declare an impeachment process. Um, Howell said she'd agreed that a House vote to authorize impeachment proceedings would, quote, make my life very much easier in ordering release of Mueller materials. But even without that vote, she's still likely obligated to give the House what it said it needed. Um, for his part, Letter argued the House only has to argue it's holding an impeachment investigation, and Pelosi has already put her stamp on the chamber doing exactly that. So where does, and so this is the grand jury material. Where does this put us legally, Jill? Well, it'll depend on what the judge does. Legally, it, it is clearly up to the judge to just say, yes, you have to formally declare or you don't. Here's why I don't think you need to declare it. Number one, there's nothing in the Constitution, in any of the laws that have been passed by Congress, or in any regulations passed. There's nothing that requires that there be a formal vote. Secondly, during Watergate, the impeachment actually began before they had an authorization vote. They did that later. Thirdly, it's just all of their arguments are completely wrong, and principally because the rules have already changed so much that whether or not you needed a declaration in 1974, you no longer do, because now Congress has been given, in general, much more power to conduct investigations and to subpoena witnesses. So with that additional subpoena power that they already have, the reason for declaring uh, or voting an authorization was to get that power. But they already have it, so they don't need it. There is absolutely no need, and the only reason... They're making this argument is it's because they have nothing else. They got nothing. Exactly. Jill, let me ask, though, and maybe this is a political question rather than a legal, but what's the downside of taking the vote since this is what they're screaming about? I mean, it, it seems like, as you and I keep talking about, look at the numbers already. This is what I've been screaming about from day one. There is no way this is bad for Democrats politically and good for Donald Trump. We are already at almost fully 60 percent back impeachment, and this hasn't even started yet. Is there a... What is the downside to taking the vote? Well, there, it's, it was possibly a downside until the Ukraine phone conversation when the numbers just, I mean, the dominoes fell. They yeah. just flipped. The train is rolling. And to use that bus metaphor, it's going to roll over Donald Trump pretty soon. Yeah. So um, I think there should be a rush to the prosecution office, except there is no prosecution office to go to. Um, but if there were a special counsel, I guarantee you people from the White House would be fleeing there, trying to be the first in to get the best deal. Yeah. Maybe they'll go to Congress, because Congress can also grant immunity. 
Yeah. But maybe they'll flee to Congress to get an immunity deal and be the ones who have the most information and get it in first because they will get the best deal. Um, uh-huh. You used a word that I, I could not love more. Uh, you tweeted 11th hour. Former assistant Watergate special counsel Jill Weinbank says the White House letter refusing cooperation with Congress on its impeachment inquiry is executive puppycock. <laughs> well, I, I was just quoting Senator Irvin when he heard that uh, President Nixon would not turn over the tapes because of executive privilege. He said, executive privilege, poppycock. It's executive <laughs> poppycock. <laughs> It just and seems it seems like a, someone that wears brooches. It's a word that you would use quite often, and I, I love yes. it. I don't know what a poppycock looks like, or I would buy a poppycock pin. I don't know. If anybody out there knows what a poppycock looks like, well, uh, please let me know so that I can get a, a Jill's pin right. poppycock. There, there's that caramel corn uh, that brand called poppycock. Oh, no, let's get on this. Yeah. Oh, right. Steph, yeah. Steph right. heads, oh, let's go. They have, a, they have a, a rooster, right? They do. All right, all right. Yeah, there okay, you go. I'm, all right. I, okay, poppycock is now a rooster. All right. Steph and heads, go. I have a great rooster someone sent me. Oh. Good. Good, um, yeah. Let me also quote you to you from last night. Yes. <laughs> you said, if the president can get away with saying, I can't be investigated, I can't be indicted, I can't be impeached, then he's made himself a king. He's the not the, not the democratic ruler of a democracy. Um, right. Yeah. And uh, let me just say, when that got printed somewhere, it had a capital D, democratic president. And that isn't what I meant, obviously. No, you, you meant a different D word. A democratic president, but he could be a small d, democratic president. He's, he's, not, he's not acting in a democracy if he's yeah. got all these powers that no one else ever expected. So it's that absolute immunity and uh, the unitary executive theory. It's all of the really crazy far-right theories right. that have never been upheld in a court and that should not be because they would totally undermine right. what we have as separation of powers and checks and balances. And isn't this, as Nancy Pelosi essentially said, and Schiff has said, they're just adding counts of obstruction, right? I mean, wasn't one of the counts against Nixon obstruction of Congress? It was. Contempt of Congress. Yeah. And it is totally appropriate in a court to say, you refuse to answer this, you refuse to turn over these documents, and therefore they will be interpreted against you in the most harmful way to you. And that is a legal um, concept that is accepted. But more importantly, people believe that. People don't live their lives in a proof beyond a reasonable doubt standard. People accept that when you hide something, it's because it's bad for you. They understand that inherently. And so I think that Americans will, and, and I, you know, it's, we've talked about this before. I don't know why Harvey Weinstein was the turning point for the Me Too movement and not the Access Hollywood tape. Yeah. I don't know why Ukraine is the one that people understand and inherently just are revulsed by, but the other thing that's turning people right now is this Turkish invasion. Yeah. And people, the Republicans in Congress are going, we shouldn't have abandoned our friends, our allies, the people who helped us. This is going to hurt with ISIS. ISIS could have a resurgence, and maybe yeah. that's the thing that will make and people go, he's too dangerous to keep his president. Jill, it's also helpful, isn't it, that it's all one story, isn't it? When you think about it, it's him doing Putin's bidding, him making side deals, whether it's because of Trump Tower Istanbul with uh, Erdogan. I mean, it, it's it's all one story that is just the same thing, that is election interference, that's, you know, he's sold out his country. I don't know how else to say it. No, absolutely. I mean... Joy Reid wrote a book called The Man Who Sold America, yeah. and it couldn't be a better book or more timely right this minute. I know. It is now. Because, and, and, you know, the three articles of impeachment against Nixon are the same three that you could use right now, and they were adopted by a bipartisan vote. Democrats and Republicans voted for these three. One of them, as you said, was contempt of Congress for refusing to obey the subpoenas from the Congress for the impeachment in court. So, now, right, where does this go now, Jill? Because obviously, you know, you and any other legal expert is like, this is ridiculous, this letter. But, I mean, and it seems like we have a bunch of, like you said, you know, Pompeo not complying with impeachment subpoena. One more act of contempt of Congress by Trump and his co-conspirators. You talked about, uh, you know, obviously this whole strategy is not going to work. You talked about on Twitter uh, sharing good news for democracy. Court rules Trump not above the law must turn over tax returns. It feels like this is all 
like coming to a head at some point legally. Well, what is your, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I sort of hope so, but so far, despite court rulings, he gets delays on the implementation of them, he keeps ignoring them, and I just want to point out, it's not just that he's obstructing criminal investigations of himself. He's not letting normal, routine oversight like about his immigration policies. He won't let his Homeland Security people or his immigration people testify before ordinary oversight committees. That's how our government functions, is we evaluate what the executive is doing. The executive can veto laws passed, but of course in this administration, because of McConnell, no laws are passing that he won't approve. He doesn't have to veto them. He just tells McConnell, don't let it get a hearing in Congress. So we're, we're at a standstill in government, except if Donald Trump says on Twitter, oh, I just heard from Erdogan, and so I'm going to do his bidding. And, and you are right. Erdogan, Syria is allied with Russia, yep. and so this helps Syria, and that helps Russia. Yeah. It, it also is, going back to the Emoluments Clause and his refusal to uh, divest any of his holdings so that he has all of these conflicts of interest, this is one where he already announced that he had a conflict in Turkey because of his wonderful Trump Towers yeah. in Turkey. Yeah. So it's, it's a really, um, it's, it's everything does seem to be of one piece. Everything is all yeah. rolling together, and at some point it's just going to be too big for the Republicans to keep holding I up. Agreed. Listen, we have, I can tell things are going down because we have a lot of Trumpers on the line yes. today, and one of them just said, tell me what crimes we're talking about. And I said, oh, well, hang on. Our friend Joe Weinbanks will tell us exactly. <laughs> because you actually tweeted, could impeachment inquiry land Trump associates in jail? I mean, I keep, you know, I, again, Andrew Napolitano of all people, but Judge Napolitano said these offenses are not just impeachable, they are criminal. Right. They, they are criminal. I know that if he were not president, he would be in jail with Michael Cohn for the crime that Michael Cohn is in jail for. He aided and abetted and approved and instigated the exact thing that he's in jail for. The um, Mueller report lays out a number of obstructions that are clear and concise, and if you could ignore all 400 pages except the list of the evidence about those obstructions, pick the strongest five. That's five crimes. What he has done now, and I, I think we should focus on impeachment doesn't require that there be a crime. Impeachment requires that the president have done something that endangers democracy. And when he cooperates with Russia, with China, when he asks for foreign help in our elections, that undermines democracy. When he refuses to let people from his administration testify, that hurts democracy. And at some point, we have to say that democracy is so important. I, I hate to draw, you know, historic analogies, but I've heard enough historians do it that, you know, in the 30s in Germany, everybody sort of thought, well, he, he's never going to get that kind of power. We yeah. don't have to do anything. And before you knew it, one little thing led to a second, to a third, to a fourth. And pretty yeah. soon, you had a total dictatorship. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And if we don't stand up to it now while we still have the power to do so, we could lose our democracy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's why the most important date in this whole thing may be May 5th when Watergate Girl, My Fight for Truth and Justice Against the Criminal yes. President, comes out. Uh, you can available. You can pre-order now on Amazon, Google Reads, and uh, Jill Wank, Weinbank's website. Thank there you. Go. you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait to see you at Politicon. Yes, I will see you just in, what, two weeks? I yes. Think. That's right. Indeedy. All right. Thanks, Jill. Thanks Good so much. Thank All right. You. Bye. 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 Oh, she is the stuff of life.